Last Friday, junior level art students got the opportunity to display work they have created throughout the past semester at the annual Junior Thesis Art Exhibit. The exhibit allowed students to get a first-hand experience of creating their own art show. The basis of this exhibit is to prepare students for their senior thesis projects in the upcoming year. The artwork presented consisted of paintings, ceramics, printmaking, glass blowing, graphic art, and sculpture. Art professor Turner McGee said that the variety of different mediums of art exhibited made this year's show unique. Every year is unique. <laughs> really, you know, there's no pattern because uh, people get interested in such different things. Every year people surprise me with, with uh, unique inventions. Mm -hmm. And this year is no different from any other. The students have a lot of freedom with their projects and the medium they choose to focus on. Influences play a major role on sculpting each artist's path to creating the work they presented at the exhibit. Native American art student Grant Parks was influenced by another Native American artist, Preston Singletary, to create various hand-blown glass piece horns, which he then sandblasted to create a design. It's very, very rewarding. Um, definitely learned a lot, uh, not only about myself, but just this series has taught me, and I've kind of grown with this series over the past semester. One of the challenges for many students building a general thesis project is the difficulty to get the desired results on the first attempt. Well, I know for a fact glass is really hard. I've had a couple of pieces break when I, when I thought they were finished. Like I was working in my airplane and I was trying to get it through it so I could hang it and then it fell and broke. So, and that was a month before the show and I was like freaking out. The junior thesis exhibit took place in downtown Hastings on 2nd Street. Professor Steve Snell said that he hopes the art show had a positive effect on the community of Hastings. I hope it has a positive effect, especially doing it in the downtown area and in an empty storefront. I, I see that as like an asset to the community, especially since we lost the one and only gallery in town, you know. Reporting for HC Media, I'm Dan Miller.